Kyle Larson wins another Knoxville Nationals. Plus, Kyle Busch did get hurt at the Brickyard 400. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. Kyle Larson, once again, showing everybody on Saturday night at the Knoxville Nationals why he is one of, if not the best race car driver currently in the world. He went back to back at the Knoxville Nationals like he was Donnie Schatz in his prime. Kyle Larson has now won three out of the last four Knoxville Nationals. You could argue that he's won four out of the last five if you want to count 2020 when they didn't call it the Knoxville Nationals. They called it the one and only. Larson even alluded to that in his post-race interview last night where he was like, yeah, you know, we should have really counted that as a Knoxville Nationals. He said that he's on a bit of a run kind of like what Donnie Schatz has had. And of course, in 2022, Donnie Schatz kind of came out of nowhere and stole another Knoxville Nationals just to add to his ridiculous tally of how many wins he has in Knoxville. But for Kyle Larson... He has now led 100 consecutive laps in the A feature at the Knoxville National. He led every uh, lap in 2023, all 50 laps. And in 2024, he started on pole and once again, led every single lap in that race for a guy that does sprint car racing on a part-time basis. It's massively impressive. I'm sure the folks over at World of Outlaws and World Racing Group could not have been super psyched that Kyle Larson won again on Saturday night, considering that he owns and operates the rival series, high limit series, to the World of Outlaws, and they have to look at their biggest competitor standing in victory lane at their biggest race once again. $190,000 payday for Kyle Larson. Gio Salzi comes home second. Corey Day, the super impressive 18-year-old out of California who is probably going to make that transition over to asphalt racing with backing from Hendrick Motorsports, finished in third spot. Just an all-around okay race, right? I think that this whole week at Knoxville, the track conditions have been not the best that we've ever seen before. It was a pretty narrow racetrack for the most part. Uh, you could pass. There were passes that were happening, but it definitely didn't have the raceability that I think we've seen at other Knoxville Nationals in the past. But for Kyle Larson, it just continues this ridiculous run that he's been on since 2020. Obviously, when he got suspended from NASCAR in 2020, he went on this dirt racing tour where he kind of just got in and won in anything that he got in. It was the one of the more impressive seasons that we'll ever see. Maybe the best ever for a dirt racer um, in 20. Well, 2020 was maybe the best season a dirt racers ever had. The amount of races that Larson won, the amount of different cars that he won in. And then, of course, you go to 2021. He wins the Knoxville Nationals. He wins the NASCAR Cup Series Championship. Um, he then goes into his run since then. The amount of NASCAR Cup Series victories he has, a NASCAR Cup Series championship. He has dirt late model wins. He won a Prairie Dirt Classic. Uh, he's, you know, won the Chili Bowl multiple times. He's now won the Knoxville Nationals multiple times. He continues to win big time sprint car races. He just came off an Ironman 55 win a little over a week ago at this point. The guy is just that good right now. And honestly, I know people probably aren't psyched about it. He kind of alluded to that in his post-race interview, too. He was like, I appreciate all the cheers. I appreciate all the boos. I know some people are probably getting sick of seeing him win, but this is one of those type of moments, a Jimmy Johnson moment, a Tom Brady moment, where are we going to see a run like this happen again? You know, maybe eventually it will happen. But for a guy like Kyle Larson to be as competitive as he is in every discipline that he gets in, that's a rare thing. He's in rarefied air, as they like to say, and I think that he's going to obviously go down as one of the best ever, but you should appreciate what is happening in the moment right here. I know it's not always fun to see the same guy win, but to see a guy be at his top level, not only in sprint cars, but also on the NASCAR side of things, and then also attempting the Indianapolis 500 and being super competitive there, these this is not something we see every year, not something we see in every generation. So appreciate while you can you can watch this happen it's like the jimmy johnson thing yeah it sucks seeing him win five championships but we're never going to see that happen again and for everybody that was a fan and watched it in the moment you might not have liked it but when you look back on it it is pretty damn impressive that he was able to do that and it's pretty damn impressive that kyle larson has been able to knock off three knoxville national wins in the last four years yeah of course donnie shots has been on went on an insane run that larson probably will never be able to replicate but the fact that he doesn't do this full time, that he hops in and runs, you know, 25 times a year and he's this competitive, something to be said about that. Today's video is sponsored by Driven Sunglasses, hat and shirt on today. Head over to drivensunglasses.com. Check out what they have on offer. Use code BREAKCAR for 20% off plus free shipping. I am very much a fan of the classic sunglasses as well as the camber sunglasses. These ones right here. So drivensunglasses.com, Josh Berry, SVG, myself. We all wear them, see if they have a pair that fits you today. Moving on to Kyle Busch. 
obviously after the Brickyard 400. He was going for a top five finish down into turn three, went in super low underneath Denny Hamlin, spins out, hits the wall. And then after the race, you see him from his onboard camera while he's standing outside of the car, trying to take off his helmet. He's only using one hand. He fist bumps Bubba Wallace. And then he has to have the team help him take his helmet off because he can't use his left hand. Well, he goes on to vacation into uh, on, on an Italian vacation with his wife, kids, and uh, family. And he's standing there, Samantha Bush, posted a photo of Kyle Busch wearing a wrist brace in one of the photos. She then deleted it and then, you know, uploaded another one where you can't really see his brace. Whatever. We all saw it and it didn't look great, right? Like, oh, Kyle Busch get injured in this? And he did. He talked to Bob Pockris on Saturday at Richmond Raceway and he said, yeah, I sprained my wrist at that Brickyard 400 crash. And he said, honestly, if we had to race the next week, I probably wouldn't have been able to. So it was a good thing they had two weeks off. Kyle Busch's season. Honestly, maybe that's the break that he needed. Maybe his luck is about to turn around. Because the way that his season has gone, especially with the amount of bad luck and bad situations that he's been in, it should have been a race next weekend after that he had that because then he would have to miss it. And that's just kind of how his luck had been. But there wasn't a race for the next two weeks. Maybe he got super lucky there. Maybe the, the racing gods look down on him. And they're like, listen, you've endured enough suffering for you know the last two months, basically. We're going to give you this time off rehab your wrist, come back, and hopefully be competitive in the next 14 races to end out the season so you can continue your win streak on. But if he did have to race the next week and he said he probably would need a relief driver, he will not need a relief relief driver for this weekend's race at Richmond, Sunday night, 6 p.m., USA, green flag at 6.01, which is a good thing, right? Because I think we all like to see Kyle Busch out there. And plus, who are they going to put in the car? Austin Hill? Uh, I just don't think that's an upgrade at all. And it's not, well... Uh, yeah, whatever. You can argue if it's an upgrade or not. But for Kyle Busch, this is uh, at least a good thing, right? He can continue on. And hey, Austin Dillon has speed at Richmond. He always seems to have speed at Richmond. I mean, a couple years ago, he had the best car there. Uh, ended up not getting the win. But he was pretty stout. He looks really stout again this weekend. At least a top 10 car on speed, which is... When you say it, you're like, well, that's not race winning speed. Listen, for RCR top 10 speed that's like race winning speed at this point so good for them they did their homework after or during the summer break uh, so hopefully Kyle Busch can you know take some of what Austin Dillon learned this weekend and, and be competitive in that race car but let me know what you think about Kyle Larson and the ridiculous run he's on in sprint cars and NASCAR just in motorsports in general nobody is doing more for motorsports right now than Kyle Larson what do you think about Kyle Busch's wrist injury? And like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Break Hard Blog.